Today I will show you a few different methods how you can add a vignette in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today we will talk about the vignette. Uh, vignette is basically darkness around the corners of an image or if you prefer it's a light fall off, uh, sometimes with uh, saturation fall off around the corners of an image compared to the center of an image. And vignette can be uh, created uh, directly in a camera uh, from a lens or sometimes from a sensor, from a pixels on a sensor, or you can create vignette uh, later in post-production in Photoshop, Lightroom or some other softwares. Why would you, uh, in the first place, create vignette in a post-production? Well, because when vignette is there to a lead eye towards the center of an image and to hide a little bit some details around the corners of an image. So if you want uh, spectator size, first see something that it's in the middle of the image or left and right somewhere around the middle, you will add a little bit of vignette to uh, get that effect. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. All right guys, this is the photo for today and I will show you a few different methods. First method how you can add vignette or that darkness around the corner it's really easy just add a new layer and fill it with the black if the black is foreground color then just press alt or option key with the backspace and you will fill that with the black and what you need to do now is just create a layer mask right here or use eraser i prefer layer mask use a brush i like really soft one and a little bit bigger maybe like so we will see and with the black color I will use 50% opacity you can use 100 or 20 or whatever amount you want uh, just paint on the mask with the black and reveal the part that you want to be visible something like so and now just lower the opacity of that layer maybe around 40 or so percent it's personal preference and let's clean a little bit more this center and now as you can see before and after before and after we have that darkness around the corners of an image and our eyes are led directly to the center of the image because of that vignette so this is before and maybe I, our eyes will go all around uh, here because of this sun it will go straight here first because it's the brightest part in the image but with the vignette it's a little bit more easy to uh, lead the spectator's eye to the center of an image of course you can maybe make smaller brush and then randomly delete even some other parts here like so and that's basically first way how you can create vignette let me show you another very easy method how you can create vignette in photoshop it's with the curves you can add the curves so let's clear this one and just darken the image and as you can see while we are darkening the image we are boosting the saturation and if you want to preserve that if you like that that's okay if you don't like that you can always put uh, this curves adjustment layer into a luminosity blending mode and then you will play just with the luminosity of that layer and not with the saturation but in this case let's leave it in the normal and Let's leave it like so. And again, it's the same procedure like we had with uh, this layer mask. Just use a black brush, maybe a little bit bigger, and just paint around the center here and leave the corners intact. And that's really, really nice. Let me see before and after, before and after. That's another way. And you can always go here and make the corners even darker if you want or brighter if you want to do that in, I don't know, some case. But that's great with the curves that you can always go back and change this, right? Maybe make it darker like so, let me see. Let's zoom it a little bit. That's not too bad. See, it's really nice. Or if we lower the amount of vignette, that's nice too. All right, that was the second method. Now let me show you the third method, it's really, easy one too we will use a shape tool for that and if you don't know how to use a shape tool you have a great tutorial about that i explained that in this one so let's go back in photoshop for third method 
right? Let's hide this and go to the shape tool. In this case, I will use this ellipse uh, shape tool and I will just create an ellipse. And by holding a space key, I can move, I can move this ellipse wherever I want and I will make a shape something, something like so and release, right? And now I have uh, this shape filled with black because I have black color here in a fill and I like uh, black color here. And what I like to do here, I like to uh, check this option, subtract from, uh, from shape. So if we subtract this, we will have opposite result. And this is uh, what are we looking for. So now we can go here to properties. If you don't see that dialog box, just go and find properties, all right? and go from this icon to the mask icon. And now you have uh, these uh, two options, density that we will leave it 100% and feather. And we will feather this, right? You can feather this ellipse as much as you want. This is of course too much, but I will feather something like, maybe something like so. And of course I will lower the opacity. And this is really nice and now I have Another way to add a vignette and really great way here it's that you can go always and transform this. You can use this um, pad selection tool or direct selection tool and just select any uh, anchor point here and yes, okay. And you will transform this and let's move it back, right? And that's really nice. Or you can press control or command T. Let's go back to the move tool and to this layer, control command T and make this smaller, maybe more like a circle and put it here and press enter when you're done. And now we have different kind of vignette or you can duplicate this and make this one a little bit bigger, wider. Let me see. And maybe yeah, like so. And now we can play, we can make this one even more opaque and the first one less opaque and we have something like this. This is without second one, this is with the second one. So a lot of different ways how you can add a vignette on your images. I will show you now another method. Let's hide this one and let's duplicate the background layer, right? Control command J to duplicate the background layer. And I will show you how to add the vignette directly on that uh, layer you want to add it. So uh, double click on the background layer and load this layer style properties. And I will go here to gradient overlay and make sure that you have black and white uh, as your default colors here and choose radial, right? Not linear, but radial. And you can move the gradient like so. See, you can move it. And I want to put it in a multiply blending mode because I just want black color and I don't want white and it's the same procedure. You can scale this all the way to 100% and do something like so. Sometimes this is really nice. Uh, this method I prefer when I'm adding a vignette to maybe soft light, uh, to a empty color layer to have, I will show you to have this kind of effect. Let's use a solid color layer like so and maybe use green or any kind of color, bluish, I don't know. Okay, something like so. And now do the same. Do this kind of a gradient overlay, right? And maybe overlay blending mode to have even stronger result. And now you can see we have really, really nice uh, result right here. As a background uh, vignetted um, color layer. And you can always change that color into something else and you will have that vignette preserved. That's really, really nice. That's another way. Or I will show you, I don't know, fifth way, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's add a new layer, fill it with the black, Alt or Option key with the backspace, if the black color is foreground color. And now go again to the layer properties here. But before we are going there, I want to uh, lower this fill all the way to the zero, right? And now we will go to this layer style properties here and go to inner glow, right? And change from white to black because we want black vignette and change from screen to normal, right? And now we can 
change the size and this is like square vignette you can see here and we have this choke option that it's basically like a feather right i want to leave it at zero and we can add noise over there to have different kind of effect or opacity and see it's like some old film uh, vignette around the corner it's not bad but let's let's hide this right it's really really nice effect and let me show you the final the last uh, last method that how you can add vignette for today and we will wrap this so let's duplicate the background layer again this is the same method uh in the uh, same method uh, like we are creating vignette on the layer we will create vignette directly on the layer so we have a copy of that layer and i want to go to the uh, camera row filter in photoshop so let's go to the filter and let's go to camera row filter all right and now let's go here to the effects tab right away right here right and we have this post crop vignetting option and this is really really nice and powerful uh, option to add a vignette you can always uh, decrease this to add a vignette this is really really intense vignette you can increase uh, the slider to add a white vignette if you want so let's decrease this and you have a midpoint here the slider that uh, move the vignette towards the center or far away from the center right if you want only some parts of the corners right or if you want to oops sorry if you want to add more vignette like so then you have a roundness uh, and you will see the roundness better if i show you the feather first you have the feather if you move feather all the way to the left it will not be feathered if you move all the way to the right it will be feather a lot so if the feather is at zero you will see the roundness if you move all the way to the left it will be almost the square and if you move uh, this amount all the way to the left you have something like a black frame and if you play with roundness you have you can achieve really really nice effect of a frame around the image if you want to do that you can make something like so or ellipse or circular if it's all the way to the right and with the midpoint you can move this uh, from the uh, towards the center or from the center depends on the effect you want to achieve and with the feather of course you can feather this let's lower the amount and this is really really nice effect here and when you're satisfied with that you can press okay you have uh, three different styles you have highlight priority you have color priority and you have paint overlay experiment sometimes it's better uh, one of those three better suits the image is just experiment and you will see the difference right and that's basically it of course you have uh, some other uh, filters uh, like nick uh, color fx pro that i'm using all the time that has its own options to add a vignette on a photo and so on and so on but basically uh, this is a few methods that i like to use and I prefer the curves and uh, to add a vignette in camera row like I did uh, now uh, as the last example. Sometimes uh, when the subject is uh, off the center, a little bit left or the right, then I like maybe to use the curves and manually paint the part of the image that I want to be uh, vignetted or that I don't want uh, a vignette to affect that part of the image. Okay. Alright guys, that's it for today. I hope that you like this tutorial and that you learn something new out of it. Play experiment, have fun uh, by adding a vignette to your images and you can achieve really, really nice and interesting results. If you have any questions regarding to this episode, please leave them in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. Practice experiment, have fun and see you next week in the next fun episode. Bye bye.